hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to a vlog so i've just parked up in st albans i've dropped bertie off at his doggy daycare he now goes once a week and it's so sweet like he loves the man that runs there he goes running up to him um and they have oh my gosh look at my hair it's a bit of a mess they have such a fun day um and they do like training and stuff as well so i know he's in really good hands so it always gives me like a free day in in a way like i feel like i'm a free person for a day i've got lots to catch you up on in this vlog so i'm having a belated 30th birthday party at the weekend um it's just at my house in the garden i'll kind of tell you more about that later but for now so i've parked up in st albans and i've got my eyebrows booked in and also a pedicure because i thought i would just treat myself this week to a couple of treatments so i'm having eyebrows and toes done today and then my nails done tomorrow because i really want to just like feel really nice for the party so yeah and whilst i'm here i've also got like a couple of errands to run so i'm gonna have a couple of hours here then head home and i'll catch up with you later I love being back in St Albans. It just feels, I don't know, it feels weird. We used to live here and I actually used to live just in that flat up there. It's so weird to be here now. It's all pedestrianized here. It used to be really noisy. And can you see there's traffic lights just then? Big lorries always used to stop and it'd be so noisy um, because we've just lived up here. This road was so busy. But now it must be really quiet living here because um yeah it's pedestrianized but it's so nice to be back here i really miss it here i'm back home now and this is the current state of the kitchen and dining room um yeah this is really kind of stressing me out there's like stuff down here the chairs are in here there's just stuff everywhere at the moment the kitchen should be finished by this evening so I'm very excited to hopefully be able to put all of this back away in the kitchen and have a good clean and tidy of this area and get everything re-sorted and back looking nice. We've got a new rug to go down here because this is actually quite old and where it's cream it has stained and marked quite a lot. Um, so we've got a new one going down here also got some new prints up here as well i've actually got a decennio code that i'll be sharing later in the vlog and yeah just this has become a bit of a dumping ground because it all needs to go back in here so this is the kitchen at the moment i know it looks like a big mess but really they're actually really close to being finished all that needs to be done is i think a couple more paints of the wall color on the walls um the ceiling is all done. These are just the spotlights, so they just need kind of um, popping in, so that won't take too long. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed this is finished tonight, so that I can have all day tomorrow, which is Friday, to clean, tidy, and kind of get my house back looking nice. Okay, so I'm back home, and gonna show you my eyebrow so last december i think just before christmas i had them laminated and i love them and i've had them done again let me get even closer it's basically like a straight perm they just do them up it's really annoying because i can't have them tinted i'm allergic to the tint so i can't have them tinted and i think it'd make a really big difference if i could i think it'd give them even more definition um but i just had them waxed and laminated and i'm really happy with them i feel like it just makes them look bigger and defines them and i really like that like fluffy brow look and then i had a pedicure as well um i like um, i'll show you later because i can't really get my foot up here um i like the color on my toes which to be honest where i went wasn't like great i haven't actually been there before um and because i was in st albans i just tried to find somewhere there i did pre-book it um but it just wasn't like as good as i've had before but it still cost the same amount of money so it was a bit disappointing but at least i know that i won't be going back there it wasn't awful at all it was just quite standard you know it wasn't like special at all anyway home now got this oh before i show you this one sec Okay, so last night on Instagram, I saw this. It's a Lenore Crease Releaser. I'd never seen it, never heard of it before. And I saw it online and I was like, oh my God. 
uh, I, I need that. I love the smell of Lenore, like that fresh washing is like my favourite smell. And I don't iron things, it always steams. So I thought, oh my god, if I could like get the creases out with this, imagine how great that would be. And I've just actually sprayed it on my bedding. I should have shown you before I sat down. But do you know what? Honestly, it did work. The only problem I had was I sprayed it on the outside first, decreased that. You kind of just spray it and then like, I'll show you. Uh, can you see here? You kind of just spray it and then just like pull it flat. I don't know what it is in it, but honestly, it does make it smooth. However, it was quite hard because um, we've got a big bed. It was hard to get into the middle without creasing the edges, but I can't wait to try it on clothing. So I went to four different shops today. I went to two in St Albans and then two on my way home. And finally, I found it. I was desperate to get it. It smells so good as well. Right, let's get into this Desenio box. Um, I have made a big order. I'm working with Desenio and I've got some new prints to update the house with. Um, so yeah, I have already got a lot of Desenio frames. So I think I've only bought like a couple of frames. So most of these are just prints. I really like these oak frames, these just natural wood frames. These are my favorite. And I always end up buying the 30 by 40 size. I think they're just a really good size. They sit really nicely in three above my bed. I'm actually gonna update these prints, but I've got three. They're 30 by 40. Um, downstairs in the dining room that I showed you earlier, they're 30 by 40. I think they're just like a really good size. Okay, so all of the artwork, it's in here so this is what i want to show you i have ordered quite a few because i love prints i love to send you know, there's a great range they've got some new ones which i really like and i just wanted to give my home an update um i think just changing a piece of artwork really makes quite a difference this big one this must be 50 by 70. We've got the dark green wall with a gallery wall and I just wanted to update one of the prints. I think this is a bit more modern and a bit more kind of in keeping with my style at the moment um, compared to like when I first did it. So although we're gonna keep exactly the same layout, I think just changing a couple of the prints really makes a big difference. I also got this huge one. Um, I love this. It's William Morris and it's just like a leaf print. It's really, really lovely colours. Okay, I got this one for our new kitchen. How cool. It's the past the Italian pasta. Italian pasta, the guide. And I just loved all the different shapes of pasta with the name underneath it. Um I got I'm not gonna describe everyone, I just hold up each one. I just got a real mixture of them. Love this. I'll show you where I'm putting them. Uh, you know the orangey shelf I've got in the bedroom? I'm going to pop this in there. I'll show you that later. I absolutely love this one. Oh my gosh, yes. I love these so much. Look at these two together. Love those. And then for the utility room, I also got this, a laundry guide with all of the different symbols. Um, I just thought that was quite a nice little one to pop on, like leaning against uh, the worktop in the utility room. This is a really nice one as well. Lots of neutral tones. Um, you know, we've got like lots of black downstairs. I've got like a gap, so I've just got a really small frame. And this is a 21 by 30. This is one of the smallest prints they do. So I just fill the gap with that. And then I oh, ordered just some eucalyptus ones for my mum. I've got quite a few eucalyptus ones already. And just two more. I've got the William Morris in the smaller version as well. And also, this one so as i said i'm going to change the prints above our bed and change them up around the house so i'm going to do that kind of today and tomorrow and i'll show you where i'm putting the new prints um but as i touched on earlier having a belated birthday party this weekend on saturday and 
I thought that having it in July, first of all, that the, obviously the restrictions would should have been lifted, and also I thought the weather was going to be amazing, but both of those haven't really happened. So I've had to change my numbers to obviously stick to 30, and also it now looks like it's going to rain. Not like heavy rain, it's kind of saying sunshine and showers, um, and each website saying different things so yeah it's and because it's a garden party we're going to be outside like it can't be even if it rained for like half an hour everyone's gonna get soaked it's not really ideal so my parents do have a marquee and we have measured the garden and the marquee and i think it is literally just going to fit um so i think we're going to put that up but not put like the sides on just have the roof on just so it's all covered and then I don't have to worry about it but you know I can't control the weather it is what it is and that is that we'll decorate it nice um so yeah so I think we're gonna put that up tomorrow night Friday so as I said today is now Thursday I am now going to shoot my project with Decenio as I said I was working with them so I'm actually going to spend this afternoon shooting that and then tomorrow really hope that the kitchen is finished so that tomorrow I can have a day just absolutely cleaning and tidying the house ready for saturday ready for the party the house has just been upside down like everything's just been everywhere for like the last month so i'm really excited to have like the biggest thorough tidy and then a really deep clean it's gonna be so satisfying <laughs> So the weather channels cannot make up their minds and so many said so many different things and because it was an outdoor garden party if it rained like everyone would get soaking wet so my parents had this marquee and you cannot believe like how lucky and how perfect it fits so it's all set up and i'm going to show you um how we've set it up but it feels like a festival when we were putting this up last night it really felt like festival vibes these panels here we are going to take them off um the met office said it was going to rain this morning so we put these up just to kind of protect this table just in case like the rain came in this way but um they will be coming off so i've just finished cleaning the house um i am not going to turn the camera around right now because i'm very sweaty and all set up now so in a minute i'm going to go and have a shower and get myself ready oh my god the sun has just come out okay so let me show you around so over here this was kind of my vision from the very start to have these kind of pallet tables oh god that really made me jump it was tom singing um so we've got pallets under here and i really wanted just the pallets but the gaps between the wood were quite big and people's drinks would fall down and i think it would have actually been quite hard to kind of decorate so we've used this plywood which i actually love and we've left it bare just on the edges um because i just love the kind of rustic scandy look it has and then I've put a white tablecloth but folded it up so you can see a little bit of the wood. And then this table runner. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So basically, I've always struggled. Um, well, in our dining room, we've got quite a long table and I've really struggled to get a table runner. They're never long enough. But this came on a roll from Amazon. So I literally rolled it out and cut it and I've got loads left. It's so nice. I'll link that down below. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, and then... Oh, by the way, I've got a few bits from Benuta, which is an amazing kind of homeware store. And I've got a discount code as well. I can't remember all the details off the top of my head, but I'll leave it in the description box below because it's an amazing discount and they've got loads of really good things. These outdoor rugs are from here. I've got one over there as well, which I'll show you, and some cushions and poofs. And they've got some really nice things. So I'll leave all of those details down below. It's cushion scattered. These black pads, actually, can you see they're in shape of a shell they're supposed to go on a chair but they don't actually fit my chairs um so i need to find another use for them but they're absolutely beautiful the quality of them is incredible they're so sturdy they're really really nice um 
Yes, yeah, so I've just got my cushions scattered across and then on the table we've just got candles and little flowers and bits and bobs. I can't wait until like half an hour before people arrive to get all the candles lit. And then over in this corner we have got just a little table. I just wanted to create lots of little areas. Because we are having food, I thought it would be good to have seating so that people can sit down and eat. So both of these poofs are actually from Benuta as well, uh, the same place as the rug, and so are the cushion covers. They're really nice, aren't they? Oh, that one's not sitting upright. I can't stand when cushions do that. That's better. Aren't they really, really nice? Um, and these, yeah, these little stools are from there. Um, and again, I've just put some flowers and candles on there. And then over here, some of this is a little bit makeshift um, because it's not professionally done, but I think it still looks really good and we've kind of just made do with what we've got. So I've borrowed this um, table and bench and just put some little candles and flowers on here. I think this will look really nice. Um, this will look really nice when it's lit. I just need to stand up all the wicks. With these tables, I didn't want to like overcrowd them too much because people have got to eat on them and then if the flowers are too tall, like you can't see the people opposite you. So um yeah i think that that's just about right and then over here we've just got small little table and some stools again borrowed this um and just pop some flowers and little candles on here and then going up here we have got our pergola and outdoor seating so this is going to be really nice seating area for people to have some drinks have some food um yeah so i've just also gone with some more flowers and candles i went to uh, my local florist yesterday and got loads of eucalyptus and um gypsophilia because i absolutely love them together so much Hung yeah, summer and like this is it looking here as well so back. yeah i'm so so happy with the setup i can't wait for people to arrive now i've just had a shower i feel so much better um i've actually got a uh, mask on it's the new charlotte tilbury like resurfacing one it's stinging a little bit but i feel like that's doing something and i feel like my face just needed like a bit of a refresh so i feel like the acids just take off the top layer of your skin and give you such nice glow earlier in this video i showed you um some of the new prints i got so here is one of them that i've put on the shelf i love this little orange area so much and then over here above the bed i've got uh three new ones up there and then in here um i changed up this big one and also this one here the blinds open it's kind of reflecting off the prints but i hope you can yeah that's better oh you can see them really well here I'm so, so pleased with them. I love this big one so much. The green sits so nicely with the green on the wall. It's almost like a perfect match. The house is finally looking like clean and tidy and back to its kind of normal state. We've had stuff like stored everywhere while the kitchen has been being done so it's nice to have it all back looking nice and clean and also to get our dining room back so today i've set up a pudding table on the dining room table um i went to costco earlier in the week to get some goodies so we've got cookies um chocolate brownies these i have to say i have opened and had two they're delicious little um donut bites they're so good got some marshmallows under here is haribo and i put a hand sanitizer and hope that people will like clean their hands before touching any of this and also a victoria sponge cake <gasps> look at that i cannot wait to have a bit of that this was also from costco it looks so good doesn't it also while we're in here i have updated these prints I got two of these, didn't I? Um, and I've put one here. This colour looks so nice against this wall. The Bon Appetit is also from Decenio, but I already had that. And then above the dining room table here, I already had the Good Vibes only, but I've just changed up the other two as well. And they're all from Decenio. I absolutely love their prints so much. And then, sneak peek of the kitchen. I'm not going to show you all of it because I'm going to show you next week in the kitchen renovation vlog. But I'm obsessed with the shelf. And this is another Decenio print up here. Um, this, I think that this is 50 by 70. This is a lot bigger. Um, but it just fills that space so well. I just love that so much. So, oh, I'm all blow dried. I get so hot blow dry my hair. I'm not this pink. 
in real life. I look so pink on the camera. I'm looking in the mirror, it's not this pink. Right, so I'm blow dried, gonna style my hair. I have been using and loving my GHD Rise brush recently because it's so quick, just gives you a nice body, gives you a bit more of a relaxed style. But today, like, I'm thinking I'm gonna tom my hair because I really want it to last really nice, like, all day. It's quite, like, humid today. Well, I don't even know if it's humid, just, like, sticky and hot. And I don't want my hair just to drop, so I think the tongs will hold it in better. I used to tom my hair all the time and just never do it anymore. I always use this heat protector spray. It's the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. It's like an aerosol. I just spray it on every layer. It's two o'clock now. Oh, so I feel like I've actually got loads to fill you in for the party. Um, so I have got two bartenders coming. They're coming at 2.30, uh, ready to set up, ready to start the party at 3.30. Um, I just found them online and I loved the sound of kind of what they do. They're mainly like cocktail makers, but uh, they don't supply the alcohol. So I've bought so much alcohol and basically they just, oh, I've forgotten how to tongue my hair. <laughs> they just make it, uh, like they just make all the drinks. So I've bought all of the alcohol that's all downstairs and all of like the cocktail ingredients like mint and cucumber and strawberries. So I will show you the menu, uh, but I think on the menu is mojitos, strawberry daiquiris, um, porn star martinis, um, oh, and then he recommended one called an East Side, which I've never heard of before, and it's like gin, sugar syrup, mint and cucumber, sounds like really nice and refreshing, um, so that is on there as well. And then with the ingredients that we've got, we can make, I say we, uh, they, we've discussed that they can make like a few non-alcoholic versions as well. Um, so like a few of my friends are driving because no one, like I don't live near anyone. Like my neighbours are coming there, obviously the closest people that live here, but all of my friends and family are at least like half an hour away. So people are like, I've encouraged people to get taxis. Um, but some people are driving. So um, yeah, we'll have mocktails for them and then food wise so um i have got a food van coming it's called bocky um it's from Aylesbury where i grew up and um yeah claire is who runs it sounds amazing sounds so nice so i've got that and she is coming about 3 30 uh, it's like a food van so it's all going to be done from her van all the food she's arriving at 3 30 to kind of set up and then ready to serve food at around five o'clock. So we're having chicken, rice, and halloumi. Um, she said it's kind of like a posh Nando's. Um, although I'm filming all of like the setup and everything, I just don't know how much um, of the actual party I'm gonna vlog because it's been, I feel like I've been so stressed doing all of this. Like we've been trying to obviously get the kitchen finished today, which we have now. We finished at that literally about 10 o'clock last night. Sorry, um, I didn't pick up the vlog camera at all yesterday because I was just flat out, literally from like 7 a.m. till 11 o'clock last night. Cleaning, um, helping Tom finish the kitchen, then my parents came and we set the marquee up yesterday afternoon and that took quite a while. Just getting everything set up, it's really been a lot. If I ever get married, it's definitely made me not want to do a DIY wedding because, oh, it's just so stressful. I feel like... I wanted a bit of downtime this morning just to get ready slowly. Um, I even thought that I was gonna have a nap, like no way. I thought I was gonna have a little party pre-party nap. Um, but no, have I got this hairspray? This is the only hairspray I've got in the house and I don't love it. It's the L'Oreal L Net. Um, it does a good job, but it just smells, I just don't really like the smell of it. I used to work in hairdressers and just reminds me of old ladies after they've had their blow dry um so yeah what else so that's it food and drink i don't have to think about so to be honest my job is now done all the setup all like getting everything sorted and organized the cleaning and tidying that's all done and now it's over to other people so i'm gonna try and just enjoy it but you know it's your own party and i'm like sat here worrying about oh i'm gonna have to like 
I feel like I can't talk to one person for too long because I've got to like move on and like make sure I talk to everyone and then make sure everyone's all right and having a good time and like so-and-so's chatting to, you know, introduce people and oh, the, uh, I don't know what to call it, the, the pre-party stress. To be honest, I'm sure once everyone's here, it'll be fine, but you always feel that pressure to kind of like look after everyone as the host, don't you? So I'm gonna carry on getting ready now and I will catch up when I am ready. This is the, the bar stock. So we've got gin, vodka and rum for the cocktails. I've got some Prosecco, I've got loads of Prosecco mixes in the fridge as well. And we've got passion fruit puree for the porn star martinis, strawberry puree for the porn star martinis. No, not the <laughs> strawberry puree for the uh, strawberry jackeries, my mind is going. And then loads of fresh stuff in the fridge for kind of the garnishes and the cocktails. I am ready. I'm feeling feeling nervous. I don't know why. I think when people get here, I'll be, be fine. But um, it's just that like anticipation, isn't it? But so I did my makeup and I actually am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless airbrush flawless i think it is the foundation because i feel like it just gives amazing coverage and you only need like the tiniest amount and here is my dress i will link it below it's from faithful the brand i shared this on a recent reel on my instagram and asked you guys to pick what dress i should wear for my birthday this actually wasn't the winner but i think in my head i knew that this is the one i felt like most comfortable most confident in so this is what i've gone for um, I'm gonna try and show you in the mirror, but the lighting is behind us, so it's not great lighting, but here is the dress. It's actually brown. It looks black sometimes in the light, but if I come back over here, it is brown, and it's got these lovely big sleeves. So yeah, now it's time, it's 10 past three. I've got 20 minutes. I'm going to go and light all of the candles and just make sure all of the little final touches are done and the bartenders the cocktail makers are downstairs they're just setting up so yeah it's all all systems go now yesterday there was some 